Okay, today we're going to set up an operational amplifier board, which we're going to use in inverting mode. This is the Nuffield op amp board. There's the op amp itself. There's the symbol, the triangle, with an inverting input with a negative sign and the non-inverting input with a positive sign. We've got a range of resistors here that we can use. We can put these two in as the feedback resistor and a selection here that we can use to put in as the input resistor and we're only going to be using this in inverting mode. First things first though, we need to put in a power supply. The usual power supply for an op amp that you will see will be plus or minus 15 volts. So, I'm going to use a power supply that is a plus or minus 15 volts and it's just a case of connecting the positive 15 volts to the positive supply on the board and then the same with the negative 15 volt supply and the zero volts connection in the middle. Next thing to do is to select which feedback resistor we're going to use. I'm looking for a gain of 10 so I'm going to use 100k here and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. 10k ohm resistor is going to be my input resistor. That means we've got a ratio of 10 to 1, so my op amp has got a gain of 10. So whatever the input voltage is, then that will be amplified 10 times and we'll be able to measure that at the output. So to measure that at the output, I'm going to use a voltmeter. The voltmeter is going to be set to 20 volts, 20 volts DC. Uh, because we won't be reading any more than that because the maximum output from the op amp is 15 volts, plus or minus 15 volts. So I put my voltmeter at the output and then I can just leave that there. And then we want to set up an input voltage. In order to put in a, an input voltage, firstly we're going to connect a 6 volt battery across the board and that's our total supply voltage. 6 volt battery here. Right, that's a fixed connection. And then using one of these two potentiometers we can vary the, the voltage that is going to be input to the op amp. So, I'm going to connect this top potentiometer, the top of the potentiometer to the 6 volts, the bottom of the potentiometer to 0 volts, and then I can adjust the little dial here and adjust the voltage at this point which we're then going to feed to the input of the op amp. So if I take this contact from the potentiometer, feed that to the input, that's the 10k going into the op amp, and then if I connect a voltmeter across that contact in the potentiometer, then we or between here, we'll get the input voltage to the op amp. Let's connect that in. So here's my input voltmeter. And I'm connecting that between zero and the input voltage to inverting terminal of the op amp. Also because the op amp is being used in inverting mode we're going to make sure that the non-inverting terminal that's the one with the plus symbol on it it's being connected straight to zero. So the only input voltage that we have is to the inverting terminal and again the gain is 10 to 100k, that's a gain of 10. And we're now ready then to turn on the power supply. 
So we'll get our power supply on. Okay, now we've got the board set up correctly and I've adjusted the potentiometer here so that the input voltage is 0 0.33 volts and you can see the output voltage is negative 3.3 volts which means it's been amplified 10 times and inverted a positive voltage in and a negative voltage coming out if I then adjust the potentiometer if I make this input voltage bigger turn that up to about 0.5 volts I've got 0.5 volts going in negative 5.1 volts at the output again it's amplified 10 times and inverted if we had a negative voltage at the input then it would be a positive voltage at the output and I can keep increasing that until we let's say we get to 1 we get to 1.02 volts you can see at the output we've got 10.2 volts again amplified 10 times because the gain of the op amp the ratio of the feedback to the input resistor is 10 you see that decimal point there so 1.02 at the input and 10.2 at the output again I can keep increasing this but what happens if we increase it to let's say one point let's go up to one point one point eight if I go up to one point eight volts at my input then what do we expect at the output we would expect if the gain is ten and if the amplification is ten then we would expect negative eighteen at the output and if we have a look at the output, then the output is just under 13 volts. 13 volts. We can't get 18 volts because the power supply, the power supply of the op amp is only plus or minus 15 volts. And in fact, in a real op amp, you can only get out about 85% of the power supply value. 85% of 15 is about 13 volts. So although we're using a plus or minus 15 volt supply, the maximum output that we get is about 13 volts when the op amp has reached its limit. So as long as the input voltage is kept small, below about 1.5 volts, if I put that down to about... So if my input voltage is 1.17, my output voltage is negative 11.7. That's an op amp in inverting mode where the output voltage is the input voltage times the gain of the op amp. The gain of the op amp is RF over RI.